five-time Stanley Cup champion with the Oilers, seven-time NHL All-Star, and Wednesday night, he, alongside many other Oilers alumni, including the great one, are in Edmonton to pass the torch from Rexall Place to the new generation of Oiler talent at the new home of the Oilers, Rogers Place, next season. Number 31, Grant Fear on the show this afternoon. Grant, a lot of emotions leading up to Wednesday. The end of an era, if you may. Your thoughts on the move to the new arena in September? Um, well, it's kind of mixed emotions. I mean, it's a great old building that we've got a lot of memories in. And being from Edmonton and seeing it being built and such, it'll always hold a special place. But the new building, I think, is going to be something special also. Let's go back briefly, Grant. Growing up in Spruce Grove, how did you get the love for the game? Uh, probably through my parents. I mean, I started playing when I was about four years old. So it's something I think most kids are in Canada. I know in Alberta, grew up wanting to play so you play a little bit you hope to make the national hockey league and unfortunately i was lucky enough and lucky enough to play at home being drafted by the oilers in the early 80s what is that one moment playing at then northlands coliseum you'll always have with you probably my first game more than anything i mean you dream of playing in the national hockey league so to be able to play your very first game and for me fortunate enough to be able to play in northlands coliseum I think it will always be a special memory. Let's uh, talk about the talent the Oilers had in the 80s, led by, of course, uh, number 99. Always had the best of words to say about you. Of course, uh, you and the Pipes alongside Andy Moog. Take us back to that timeline. Share with us, Grant, uh, playing with that elite team. Well, I think we were pretty lucky to have a, the group of guys we had. I mean, you had Ann, Andy, myself, Gretz, Mark Messier, Paul Coffey, Yari Curry, uh, Glenn Anderson. I mean, to get a group like that together at the same time with everybody being around the same age just doesn't happen very often. So we're very fortunate that Glenn put that team together and we all seem to gel at the same time. You know, that one moment in my life, you officially became one of my favorite goalies. 1987, remember watching that game with my late grandfather, you, Wayne, Mary Lemieux, defeating the Soviet Union. Do you look back in that time of your life a lot? Um, I do once in a while. I mean, it's fun to watch now. And at the time, you don't really realize how much fun you're having because you're so busy playing so i enjoy every now and then i'll sit down and watch an old game just for the fun of it and see how bad we actually were the debut of the heritage classic of course back in 2003 you raw you were amazing in that uh, that night of course uh, defeating the uh, montreal canadians the uh the alumni team announced recently the oilers uh, will face the jets alumni next year are you going to be a net for that game um i'll definitely be at the game whether i'll be a net or not i haven't decided yet so but definitely looking forward to it Number 31, Grand Fear, Wednesday night, uh, an emotional one. Are you going to be at the rally Wednesday? Oh, most definitely. It's fun to be at different things for the city, and obviously Northlands is a big part of what's been in the city and with the team there. We're looking forward to it. Thanks so much for doing this, Grant. Appreciate it. My pleasure.